Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give God some praise in this house, show. Hallelujah, because he's real. Hallelujah, because he breathed in us this morning. Hallelujah. Give God some praise in here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I've been sitting in here and I've been listening to all the scriptures and the messages today. And I said, well, God, you gave me a word. And you're going to have to preach this word. I can't do it. It take all of you, God. And I ask God to pour in me today. And I told him to fill my cup up. So what the overflow of this cup can flow out to y'all. The word today is a short message. Well, a scripture. And it's in the book of Matthews, chapter 22. Verse 14. Before I would read the word, we read the word together. I want to give honor to the Lord and Savior of this house. The God of God, the King of kings, our Yahweh, our Alpha and Omega. I want to honor God first. Then I want to honor the head of this shepherd of this house, Pastor James O. Bowman, Lady Bowman, the deacons in this house, and all the saints. Amen. I honor all of y'all. I thank y'all for showing up and being in this place today. Now, Matthew 22 and 14. Can everyone stand, please? We want to reverence God. We want to show God respect, okay? We're reading his word. We're going to stand in agreement. Hallelujah. And it's a short scripture. And it say, For many are called, but few are chosen. Have a seat. Many are called, but few are chosen. Before I start teaching this word, I want all the children to come up and sit on the second rows of the church. All the babies and teenagers too, on the first, second row of the church. Bring her, Shay. Sit her up here. You hold her. Grandma, obedience is always better than sacrifice. I told them to sit on the second row from the front where they could sit right there. Diamond, come up here and sit. Come on around, Michael. This word y'all hearing today is not just for the adults, but it's for y'all too. Amen. Even the baby. Oh. All children. Amen. From the old to the young. From the young to the old. Thank you, Lord. God is saying that New Beginnings Church, we are chosen. And even the guest people that is here today, God has chosen you to be here, to hear this word today, to let you know that you are chosen. Hallelujah. All the babies in here, these new babies and the old, the, the ones that have been here, I want to let you know that God said you are chosen. Hallelujah. You are special. God has something great in you and God has a great plan for all of us. I want to give God the glory and honor this morning. You know, as I was reading this word, God was showing me how he chosen his people in the word. If you go to Samuel, you ain't got to go there and talk about David and how David, hallelujah, God chose him out of eight boys 
he was the eighth one, the baby, right. and how God chose him. Right. Where it was 12, but back in the time when he was chosen, it was just seven. And he chose David. And David was chosen to be a king. David was the, fair, the one that looked the weakest, didn't have the muscles, but God chose him. If you go back to the Bible and read up in, on Moses, Moses was chosen too. He was chosen for, as a baby. In Moses' time, the king sent out a word to kill all the baby boys. But Moses didn't get killed. He ended up in the king's palace with the king's daughter and was raised up in the palace. God had a plan for him. If you go in and you look at how Jesus got hit, his mother, who was a virgin, come on, she was chosen to carry the Holy One, God's child, Jesus. You know, you might look at your life and say, well, I'm going through this and I'm going through that as an adult and child, but God wants you to know that you are chosen. What it look like now is not the end that God has set for your life. It's not the end of what God is doing in your life. You know, every day you wake up, it's a new beginning. And not even just every day, but every second. Hallelujah. In a day is a new beginning for us. God words say hallelujah. One day for us is like a thousand for him. Come on, y'all. So what you God is saying that he could change your steps and your life just like that. Amen. So when you are chosen and God has a plan over your life, don't look at what is going on. Don't look at what people say. Don't hold on to that. Don't hold on to what people call you at the school. Don't hold on to what your mama and daddy and uncles and aunts and cousins and all of those people spoken on in you. You are chosen. You went through all of that because the enemy did not want you to know who you are. He didn't want you to become who God called you to be. He didn't want you to know that you are the chosen one of the family. He didn't want you to know that you are chosen to do the job and he anointed you to do the job that he put you in to do. That's the enemy job to keep you from becoming who you are in God. But God said to let you know you are chosen. You are chosen. It's so many books in the Bible. If you go to about Joseph and how Joseph's father favored him and he loved him and he knew Joseph was special. He gave Joseph a coat, would mean a coat of many colors, y'all. And Joseph's brothers and siblings was jealous. Come on now. Can you can y'all imagine that? That how many how God how God anoint y'all with a coat and anoint you with a gift and your siblings and your friends and your cousins and the people on the job and even the people in your household be up against you? Because of the anointing that is on you. You are chosen. There is power in you. When you are chosen, God has gifts in you. Hallelujah. Joseph had the gift to see and prophesy, to interpret dreams. How many of y'all are out there having dreams now and it, it seems like deja vu? Uh, how many of y'all having visions and it happened? And how many of y'all are speaking and saying things to people and when you speak and say it happened? But the enemy don't want you to know that that is your gift. He don't want you to know 
that you are chosen. I sit back sometime and I think because I, I'm from Washington, D.C. And in Washington, we got one of the biggest psychiatric wards up on Martin Keen Avenue. It almost looked like a college campus. That's how big it was. It was on both sides of the street. And I think how it's so full of people who don't know who they are in God Amen. and have gifts. Have gifts to see what man can't see, y'all. Have gifts to hear what man can't hear, but be classified as schizophrenia. But that's the devil way of getting you trapped and holding you back from becoming who you are. I thank God, hallelujah, that this house right here is chosen. New beginning, church in Christ is chosen. I thank God that many are called, but few were chosen. We was chosen to do for the community in this state. We was chosen, hallelujah, to empower each other. We were chosen to minister to each other. We were chosen to minister to the community. We are chosen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We are chosen. There is power in you. Little ones, there is power in you. Amen. There is power in you. God said death and life is in the power of your tongue. So what you speak over yourself, you speak in power to it. Do you hear me, young ones? Do you hear me, parents? What you speak over your children, that's what you speak in power to. So if you speak that your children are blessed, they are blessed. If you speak that your children are dumb, that's what you're speaking on them. You are chosen. God has equipped you in this house. So you could go out and do the work of God. Every Sunday when you come in here, you're supposed to have an expectation of God to pour into you. You're supposed to have an expectation that God renew your mind. Amen. You're supposed to have an expectation that what is weighing on your heart, that God move it that day. Amen. You're supposed to have an expectation that whatever has uh, been bothering you, you give it to God and God going to move it. Amen. He's going to move on your behalf. And it's not about recognition, what you do. Because I can stand up here and say so many things and so many testimonies that God had used me for, that had prayed for people, and they got healed, and nobody ever stood up and gave a testimony. But it's not about recognition. It's about the glory of God. You are chosen for a reason. And your reason of God choosing you is not the same of everybody else's. What should be the same? If that we have the same heart, a heart of love, the heart of God. We should have the same mind, the thoughts of Christ Jesus. We should be one body. That means whatever you working at, you may be the pinky of this finger and somebody may be the fingernail that grow out and get, get in the cracks or something. But you got their back. You are chosen for a reason. And the reason is for the body of Christ. Can I tell y'all a story in the Bible with this prophet and he was training up this young man in the Bible and hallelujah and the young man he, uh, 
was serving this man and, and learning from him. And then God started speaking to the baby. God started speaking to the baby. Parents, don't get your britches pulled up up to above to your chest and think because you're the mother and the father that God can't use these babies to teach you something. Amen. He gave them to you for a reason. Not just for you to train them. But also you have to realize that God lives in them and God breathes in them and God can use them too. Amen. Amen. Use them, Lord. There is promise in y'all. There is a promise in y'all. And the promise is God. The Holy Spirit that lives in you. Amen. And because the Holy Spirit lives from the baby on up to the teenagers, to the young adults, from the young adults to the season of us, <laughs> we are chosen. We are chosen. Anybody can stand up here and preach. But if they're not preaching with the Holy Ghost, they just called. The chosen is anointed. The chosen do what they do by the leading of the Holy Ghost in them. All I'm telling y'all babies and the parents, stop looking at what's going on around you. But look to the one who chose you. If he got you in something, it's for a purpose. It may not feel good for a while, but the end is the glory. Go to Romans 8, 8 and 18. Romans 8 and 18. It says, For I reckon that the suffering of this present time is not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Hello, this the chosen. This is for the chosen. Yes, Lord. It's glory. It's glory. It's glory. So we ain't got to sit around and worry about what people think or say. Amen. We ain't got to keep trying to keep up with the Joneses. We ain't got to keep worrying about what happened in our past. Because look at the glory now where you at. Look how God brought you through. Hallelujah. You're not locked up. You're not an alcoholic. You're not on the drugs and have a drug addiction. Hallelujah. You got a roof over your head. You got food to go in your mouth. Look at the glory of God over your life. Oh, thank you, Lord. You got peace. Yeah. That's the chosen. Oh, thank you, Lord. You can live right next door to somebody and every day is something going on. Oh, mm. No peace there. <laughs> they got to come and keep knocking on your door hoping that when you, they see you they can get something to eat. <laughs> or get some money from you. But God had chosen you. I learned that sometimes when people point their fingers at you, y'all, and a lot of people say it, the other ones come turn back towards them. But when people are always pointing their finger at you, it's their insecurity, baby. Yeah. They don't want you to shine. 
They don't want the glory of God to manifest in your life fully. They trying to stop what God has in, in you. But for God live in us, ain't nothing can stop it. Amen. Nothing can stop it. Hallelujah. I want you today to know who you are. I want you to look to the, your neighbor and say, I am chosen. I am chosen. Say it, say it with some meaning. I am chosen. I am chosen. Amen. And I'm chosen by God. I'm chosen. I am chosen by God. Yeah. All, all this other stuff that's going on, it doesn't even matter. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They can talk about your shoes, but guess what? Can can they put the devil under their feet? Because those the ones that talk about you gonna need you. They gonna call you and ask you, well, what you think? And some don't want the truth. But then when they don't want it, you dust the dust off your feet and you keep it moving. Amen. Some gonna come to you, hallelujah, and say, I need prayer. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Sometimes God will have you to go and reach out to them because he needs you to minister to them. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. You are chosen. Yes, sir. You are chosen. The ones that don't like you, they go, they, yeah. Right. It's okay. Thank you, Lord. It's okay. Thank you, Lord. That's their insecurity. Thank you, Jesus. They, they, they there for a purpose. Can I tell you that? Jesus himself chose 12 disciples, right? And one of them was Judas, right? And Judas was the one that betrayed God, right? Yeah. He was chosen. <laughs> Can I tell you, sometimes God chooses them, them people, them stiff necks, the ones that rub you wrong, the ones that disrespect you, the ones that will cuss you out, the ones that will put you down, the ones that say you ain't good for nothing, the ones that will physically and mentally abuse you. Hallelujah. That's still your Judas. And what you need to tell Judas is go ahead and do what you must do. Because you're not going to stop the plan of God in my life. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, glory to your name, God. Mm -hmm. Glory to your name, God. Speak, Jesus. Speak, Lord. Have your way. In you are name. chosen. Thank you, Lord. You are chosen for the glory of God. Thank you, Lord. You are chosen. I don't care, hallelujah, if you can't say a word, you are chosen. I don't care if you can't see with your natural eyes, you are chosen. I don't care, you may be the rump in the family, but you are chosen. You may be the, what they say the world call, the black sheep. But you are chosen. Everyone in this place on the sound of my voice that's even online, I want you to know that you are chosen. Amen. I'm speaking out in the atmosphere. Now, today, you know that you are chosen. And because you are chosen now, today, you are equipped with the equipment that God gives you through his word and his spirit to stand, hallelujah, and defeat the Goliath of your life, hallelujah, to preach the gospel, hallelujah, to raise the dead up, hallelujah, that the blind shall see, hallelujah, and the deaf shall hear, Hallelujah. You are chosen. Thank you, Jesus. You are chosen. Thank you, Jesus. And it's not by man. Hallelujah. Can I tell you my story? I wasn't chosen by man to be up on this pulpit. I went to a church 
and at the church they had a Bible college, a divinity school, and and I wasn't gonna participate in it. And God told me to go ahead and participate because the preacher told me he would pay for me to go to divinity school. And when I was in there, I heard God tell me, you pray in the spirit, you read in the spirit, you write in the spirit, you do listen in the spirit, you do everything in the spirit of God. And I said, okay, God. And I took the humiletics and the homiletics and the Old Testament and New Testaments, and those must have been the four hardest classes. And I passed all four. Thank you, Jesus. My classmates was looking at me and they was laughing at me because some of them already been in divinity school and it was hard for them. But do you know when greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world? Hallelujah. That you can do all things through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Because I didn't go in there thinking that I'm doing it of my own. But I'm doing it of God because I know that God had chosen me. I know that God had put me there for a reason. And the reason I waited for God to show it to me, and when he showed it to me, y'all, it blessed me. It was to show me who I am in him. Say that. Yes. Say that. It, was, it was to show me that what I thought I had low self-esteem on and, and couldn't do, I could do. And the reason why I'm saying that, y'all, because, one, I dropped out of high school. Had no high school diploma, but I'm in taking college courses. That's the favor of God, okay? Then on top of that, I'm thinking I can't read well, y'all. Come on now. Because they had labeled me with a disability and a disability of unlearning. Hallelujah. Unable to learn. My dad could testify to this. Hallelujah. But because of the disability and the lies and the deceit that the enemy told me, I held on to that thing. And it hurt me. It hindered me. But when God put me in that place, Hallelujah. He showed me that I, what I could do. And I end up going and getting my high school diploma later. Jesus. But as far as me getting ordained, it wasn't there at that church. God sent me to another church. And while I was serving in that church, a, a, a apostle who would come there from time to time was doing an ordination at the church. And I went to go support somebody else who was getting ordained. And, and God of the blue, God ordained me. So I'm trying to tell you, when you are chosen, it doesn't matter what man say. Amen. You can't put your faith in God. You, can you believe in the power of God. And when you believe the power of God, the God will be in you. Hallelujah. Give you power. Hallelujah. That you will understand that what's impossible for man to do is possible for God. Because you are chosen. Hallelujah. Because you are chosen. The enemy is mad right now because guess what? Y'all going to walk out of here, hallelujah, with the mind of Christ, hallelujah. You going to have a new thought about yourself, hallelujah. You going get, to get home and look in the mirror and you ain't going to look the same to yourself, hallelujah. When you open your mouth, you ain't even going to sound the same to people, hallelujah. They going to be like, where that come from? Who told you that? Hallelujah. Oh, my God. They be like, Guess what? And they will come back to you and say, guess what? Yeah. What you told me, Jesus. it worked for me. Hallelujah. It happened for me. Hallelujah. And all you have to say is glory to God. Because yeah. yeah. it was God that gave me wisdom. Yeah. That's what the word was about this morning, the power of God. <laughs> And the wisdom and revelation and the knowledge he give us. Yeah. Come on, y'all. When you're chosen, you are filled up with him. Yeah. None of yourself. Yes. You know? Yeah. We think some of the stuff we go through is hard. Mama, she lost her son. But what she went through, it brought her through. Hallelujah. Look at the glory of God. She in the hospital. Hallelujah. Look at the glory of God. Hallelujah. My, my baby and his family in the house. That is glory. My God. Yeah. That is glory. 
my brother back there, he know he chosen. Hallelujah. He know he got work to do. And he started in his household, y'all. What he did today, hallelujah, shut the doors of the enemy today. And I'm not just talking about him coming to church. I'm talking about him being sure that he's head of the house. And by him stepping up and bringing his family in, what you said to the devil, brother, today was me and my house. Huh? We going to serve the Lord. Hallelujah. Me and my house. We gonna worship the Lord. Me and my house. We are victorious and we are chosen. Yes. God is in this place and he's doing miracles, y'all. Small miracles. Big miracles. It's something he touches some of y'all bellies right now. In the spirit right now, I just feel God touching bellies and birthing gifts in the babies and birthing gifts that y'all done forgot about and birthing gifts, hallelujah, that been lying dormant in some of y'all. Oh, thank you, Lord. You are chosen. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are chosen. Yes, Lord. You are chosen to be where you at on the job. You are chosen. Oh, thank you, Jesus. You are chosen. The guests that came here today, you are chosen. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. You are chosen. Oh, thank you, Lord. I just see God pouring in you, young lady. It's like a waterfall pouring down on you. He's filling you up when your cup running over. Oh, God, I thank you. I thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you. It's power in y'all. Yeah, yeah. Babies, yeah. teenagers, yeah. young adults, seasonals. Yeah. It's power in oh, us. And the power is the kingdom power of God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And because he lives in us, you are chosen. Jesus. I taught Wednesday night about the body being the temple. And when you have God in you, can I tell you, when you fully, fully let God reign in you, the things you used to do can't do no more. You don't have the desire no more. When you fully, fully give God all your heart, love him with all your heart, and say, God, I am here and I belong to you. Yes. Clean up everything that's in me that is not of you yes. and have your way with me. Yes. Man, do y'all know God will open so many doors for y'all? Do y'all know, understand young people, it will be scholarships for y'all? Do y'all know, understand, hallelujah, Hallelujah, that God will have people to bless you out the blue. Come on now, you think you're going through something, and God will have you to walk up on money, and nobody else there but you to get it. That happens. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, Lord. He, he's your supplier. He rained manna in the Bible down for the people of the... That he brought out of Egypt, y'all. Don't you know because you his children... He got manner for you raining down now. The word is saying he's your portion. He's your provider. He's your healer. But you have to know who you are in God. You have to know that you are chosen. And because you are chosen, he's your keeper. He's your all in all. There's nothing in this world greater than him. There's no love in this world greater than him. It's nothing greater than him. Nothing. And if you get in your mind and you start looking at the miracles that God do for you every day. Because it's a, it's a book with your name written in it. And he go down that book and he say, okay, they wake up today. They wake up today. They wake up today. 
Mary wake up today, Bob will wake up today, Pat wake up today, hallelujah, Minnie wake up today, Shay wake up today, <laughs> Brother Hall wake up today. Come on now. That's him choosing you to give you life another day. You are chosen. Stop thinking that you're not. Stop thinking that you're just on this earth to be on this earth. You have to know who you are in God. You have to know that your name is written in the good book of the living. Hallelujah. And it is not erased or scratched out and put in the book of the dead. But your book, your name in the good book, hallelujah, of eternal life. Jesus, thank you, Lord. You are chosen. You are chosen. The babies are chosen to be here today. Have your way, Holy Spirit. Yes, they are. Yes, thank you, Lord. Every one of us in this place belong to God. And if you feel like you need some help to get closer to him. If you feel like your heart, in your heart, you could do better. I want you to come up to the front. Thank you, Lord. I want you to come and receive what God has for you. Because today with him, he's going to wash you white as snow. He's going to purify you and creating you a clean heart and renew the right spirit in you. Hallelujah. Anyone that want to join the church today? Come on up. Even if you don't want to join the church and you just want to give your life.